Hello, my name is Malik Parker. This is my 15112 term project for the fall semester of 2012. My app is called Pro Tracker. This is version 1.9. Um, to describe this, basically it's an application that you can use to keep the score, track stats, and its sole purpose is for the sport of volleyball. So this cannot be used with basketball, football. This is mainly for volleyball. Hopefully in the future, with future updates, I hope to add more sports. So to start off with, we have our, this is our main menu. And um, we have our help page here. You can click these, these are the buttons to get to the pages. You have your help page button, inputs, uh, your game, which has sub buttons of coach mode, simple mode, roster, practice, and settings. So we have three coming soon uh, buttons and pages, I guess. So that, we're going to talk about why they're coming soon and what their what their purpose is. What are they? So the roster is where we will keep the track we keep track of the stats and things of the players. So in roster we will have you know the team and under the team we will have the players names their uh, jersey numbers their height you know such information about them that you would find on the average website of sports and in practice mode practice page sorry we will have this is where you can actually take the stats but this is for you know uh, practice when Coaches want to, you know, take quick stats such as, you know, how well did so and so do while they were serving today, or, you know, it, it's pretty quick. So that that's why it's just practice mode. You just can take stats of certain players however you want to do it. It's mainly for coaches to, you know, see the progress, how their players are doing, and if they want to better them during the season, you know, focus on specific topics, whatever. Coach mode. Now, coach mode is pretty much a game mode that has practice mode built into it. Remember, this is all coming soon, so this is not now, but coach mode is going to be able to keep box scores and um, track the substitutions, the timeouts, and, uh, of course, the stats mentioned in the practice. But the thing that's special about the coach mode is that it will be able to Take all the stats that were inputted, everything, box scores, substitutions, and it will be able to put those onto the NCAA's formatted uh, stat book already, and it will create a printable PDF for you. That way, you don't have to take the stats by hand or manually and then submit it. You can actually do it by this program, and it will do that for you and you have the paper now and it's all printed out and there you go you can submit it there without even having to handwrite it but those are coming in the future update that will be in version 2.0 coming soon and so now let's dive into this program so first off let's start here say we're a new user we'll go to our help so, okay, so we're a new user. So we look at this. Welcome to Protractor. Protracker. It will tell us our, our features of the simple game mode. Just quick, you know, what it is. Input, you know, quick what you can do with it. And, um, you know, like it says here, more info over here in the right column. You know, tell me more info about it. Uh, here's a quick button straight to, to get straight to the uh, input page instead of going back to the menu and then going to input and um here's a warning for turning off the loading screens we'll talk about that later so let's go right on over to input which let's actually just go back to the main menu and as you can see there was no loading screen for the main menu because you know you're going back to the loading screen it's just buttons there it's not really anything to load up so let's go to inputs here in inputs this is where our keyboard layout is for our short, quick presses. That way we don't have to move our mouse to go to click on certain buttons.
buttons. This is nice for the user. It can be done nice and quick, and you can keep up with the game and still enjoy at the same time without really having to, you know, move your mouse here and in there. And it also works. It will work well with stat tracking when I incorporate it later with the update. So let's just look at this right quick. So if you can follow me on the keyboard layout as I as you see these, you have W S Q. It's plus one, minus one timeout for the home team. As you can see, these are split into two different sections, and this is labeled nicely. For the left side, you have these three, and for the right side, you have these three keys, I, Q, I, K, and uh, the letter O. So if you also look on your keyboard, you can see that they correspond nice with the uh, left side and the right side. And if you have learned how to type the correct way, then these keys, as you can see, are really easy to you know manage. You don't really have to move at all. You don't even have to know how to type the right way. You just put your hand left, right, and you can reach it nice and easy. A kin kindergartner could do it. So you have these keys for home, these keys for away, and then these three uh, actions, sorry, not keys, actions are... Digital numbers, reset the score, slash next set, next set, and the reset all. Um, corresponding with these keys, as you can also see if you look on your keyboard, they also correspond pretty well with how we have the home team and away team laid out. And just to go on ahead and to show you how you can change the keys. So as it says here, you can click an action to change this input. So let's say we want to change up. We click it. I want to change it to T and then I hit enter. Now notice that it didn't change to T as soon as I hit it. You see, I'll change it to R just to, to show for proving fact. Okay, R is something. Uh, I'll change it to H. And it doesn't show up. I don't know if you can hear me clicking the key, but it doesn't show up. But it's there. And if you hit enter, it shows. So how does it know it's there? Well, let's find out. You hit plus one and I don't click any key so I say return to save I hit enter and it's not letting me I have to hit another key I have to hit an actual key other than enter for it to actually you know allow me to say oh that's what I want it to be so I put it back to W and that's how you change a key so say you know you change your whole layout to something random something you find comfortable for yourself but you want it back to the actual default keys well I have a nice little reset button here resets it all back and we'll show you that that works later so we went over help input and now settings in our settings as they load up settings we have our digital numbers which will change the look of the of how the scores are outputted to digital numbers instead of flip card numbers you will see that soon and we can toggle the loading screen but there's a warning to that which you can see in the help page I have a nice little help page here help, help page shortcut and in the warning it says that the loading screen is there for a reason you can read it when you open the program it's there for a reason you might not want to toggle with it but if you want to it's up to you so now we have our simple page. This is where the action takes place. So we have our home team over here, our away team over here, and a number of sets. We have all of our home actions here, plus one, minus one, and a timeout. Same for this side. And we have a reset score and reset all. Now we don't have a plus and minus set score. Why? Because that's automatically handled when a certain team wins that's when the set will go up you can also undo the winning of a set by just hitting minus and we will show you that in a second but first off let's show you the digital keys so if you remember back on the input the digital key is D D for digital of course so loading so we hit D and as you can see it changes immediately 
So these is this is what the digital looks like. And now using our keyboard shortcuts, we'll just enter, enter it up, and enter it down both sides. As you can see, it works. So let's play a game. So say our home team wins 25 to 0. As you can see, our button, our uh, light is lit up. Our set is lit up for the left side. They now have won the set. And as you can see, our reset score has now changed to next set to let us know. Click here to go to the next set. Now say it was 24 and the away team actually got the point. So we can actually undo that move by you know just hitting minus one and as you can see the light goes away it changes back to reset scores and we can now play around with this again and to fix the bug there was a bug previously you couldn't you could actually uh, subtract from the away side if the home team had won but that is now fixed you cannot do it I'm trying to do it it's not working so let's see the reset score work in action it works and to prove that the reset all works in action there it clears all of our sets and it'll clear our timeout so let's go over timeouts timeouts the way timeouts are displayed in volleyball is that they are displayed by the team that called the timeout their score first and the team that didn't call the timeout, their score is represented second. Each team has two timeouts. So I'll click their timeout again. And won't let me click anymore. That's it. If I reset the scores, timeouts go away. Because I reset the set, basically. Also in volleyball, it's best out of five. So once the fifth set comes up, then the final score is changed to 15 instead of 25. So a team can win by getting the 15 in the fifth set. And it says the away team won. It says the home team won. So as you see, it does display who wins. And here also, you have to win by two. So you can go over the score that is preset, which is 25 for all sets except for the fifth one. 15 for the fifth set, but if you keep going until you you keep going until you win by two And as you see the away team won by two game over Can't reset the scores You can call a timeout still somehow And you can only subtract from the team that won But once the game is over pretty much can't do anything except reset the whole thing and just to show you that you can turn the loading screens off we will turn those off there are now no loading screens And that is the demo for my 15112 project. Thank you.